Okay, we've all heard of the um, snell knot. A snell knot. I tie a snell knot. I still double it. You can do this single too, but I like to double a lot of my knots. I, I think they're stronger. They're more durable, at least, to where the, the fish's teeth rubs against 10 pound braid or, or, or 6 pound, 5 pound fluorocarbon. <clears throat> it's not going to damage the knot as quickly. So on a, on a snell, you want to hold the hook so it's upright. You know, point up right through the eye of the hook. Again, it's a lot of it how you hold it. You're going to hold it like so. Take your line, your loop you've made, and you're going to wrap it up around your line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 or 12 times. Again, it's a little bit thicker braid. I might do a little more if I'm using 10 pound braid. And there you go, run the line back through the loop. I had that tag in, I had that loop I was holding, run it back through that loop. Pull your main line and your tag in tight. Cinch it down. And you might wanna pull your loop just a little bit to make sure it's snug. Pull your main line and your tag in, again, as hard as you can without cutting yourself. It, cinching it down, the tighter the better. You, you never can cinch it too tight unless you break it. And if it breaks in that way, also you're testing your knot, is if it breaks on the cinch, then you had a bad knot. And it, another thing about, a good, good thing about the uni knot is it, I almost never break one on the cinch and I like, tighten it down. But the snell knot I use on a lot of, like when I'm throwing a fluke on braided lines, like a, like, a, like a soft dirt bait, you know, a lot of my soft plastics I throw without, even with a weight on or whatever. Um, even with just not a weight on it, just a bait on it, tends to, when you set the hook, tends to, to drive the hook up and over. So it increases your hookup ratio. It increases how you hook them. You're not going to get skin a lot. A lot of times you, when you rig it snell, you're going to get a lot of meat. You're going to put that hook through the cheek. You're going to put that hook through a lot of uh, a thick part of your mouth. So obviously when you do that, you don't lose them as often.